Okay, this is Connor, and I, today I will be explaining to you how wind works, and it's a part of weather and what uses we can make out of it. Wind is caused by the Earth's rotation, counterclockwise, I think. Also, its temperature differences in the weather and the levels of air somehow causes wind. And how, do, if you're wondering, how do we tell which direction wind's coming from and the speed of it and stuff? and some uses of it. I'll be explaining that in today's video. First of all, I'll show you some uses of good uses of wind. Now, as we all know, there's a thing called a sailboat, which is powered by the wind. I will show you an example, if I can just get it to work. Say, so you see the boat, and now, when I turn on some wind, It'll go. And it wouldn't fall over normally, but since this thing's just a junky little toy, it'll be fine. And some other uses of it are airplanes and stuff. Say you're going on a trip to somewhere on an airplane, and there's a big updraft of wind or something in the sky. The airplane pilot decides to get into that to go faster and save airplane fuel probably isn't that expensive I mean probably is expensive so I'm going to show you an example of an airplane now realize this is just a foam toy so it probably isn't going to work out that well but here we go see the wind the wind would carry the airplane but kind of like a string or something and the airplane would just glide along on it like this and then obviously it would be a better landing and so yeah if you're going someplace and you need to get there fast just hope the airplane pilot finds a updraft now I'll be explaining to you how wind can affect a car in good and bad ways say you're going on a freeway on a vacation or something well, if you're on the freeway and it's a windy day, let's just hope you've got a streamlined car like this. Because streamlined cars, they don't have a problem going through the wind because the wind just glides right over their smooth surface. So they don't lose much gas trying to get through the wind. But if you're a big truck or something, the wind will get the best of you. So if the truck just like sticks way up like this, the wind will hit it and slow it down. And the truck will have to use more fuel to the engine because the engine will have to work harder to keep the car going at the same speed even with the wind forcing it back. And instead of going like this fast, you'll be going like... So those are some effects of wind. Now I'll tell you how wind is measured. Now, as you may know, there's a thing called a weather vane. And it's that thing way up there. It tells the direction of the wind by the wind hitting it and the arrow points. And there's also a thing in a, called an anemometer. I don't have one right now, but it's this thing. It's got cups on it. And when the wind hits it, the, the wind goes in the cups and it spins. And the faster it spins, the higher the wind speed is. So, if it, wind can cause damage too, like that boat. It was so windy that the boat fell over. But, so wind can be useful. It can feel good on a nice hot day. It's good for going to the beach or something. So next time you're in a windy, you're, it's a windy day, you should try and make some of these, try looking at some of these examples and see if you can do it too. This is Connor, out.